Hey, Chicky it's okay today. We are doing another double stamping, this time plaid. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So I've already painted my nails with two coats of OPI's Alpine Snow. That won't be too much of a shock to anyone. That does seem to be my favourite white polish. I've also added a coat of Sesh Feet to try and alleviate any of the frustration that comes with stamping and me. <laughs> I'll also be using Pitcher Polish's Clear Jelly Stamper and please, please, please don't forget. Now as this thing comes with a lid, what you want to do is, because you want to have it ready to use, like with the lid off, but put it inside its lid and that way you won't accidentally get any acetone on it like I did and tried to wreck it. So that's really important. Now the stamping polishes I'm using are from Mundo Eunice. I'm using the black and a neon pink and the stamping plate is a Moyu London stamping plate. It's hipster number no. four and Pitcher Polish actually sent that to me. They have them in their, um, in their online store which is really cool. Uh, these images are a little bit small for my nail. Well not small, they're very snug so I've got to be really careful. Now like here we go. <laughs> I already know what's coming, so hey, from my voice and the way I'm talking, you probably already realise that I'm going to stuff this up. Um, I did it really well on my index nail when I wasn't filming it, but oh. So we're doing the pink bit first, so the, the um, larger stamping um, image first, and then we're going to come in, um, you can see that I forgot to use some uh, Simply Peel liquid latex, which was really stupid, but I mean, it wasn't too bad with the pink one, but definitely you want to use it with the black stamping polish, that's really... Um, important. Oh, gosh, <laughs> sorry I just know what's coming. Um, so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stamp this over that image and as you can see completely missed the mark and got it way too up, up high. So I tried to get it off with a little bit of sticky tape. Yeah that didn't work. I think I actually I know I would have been a lot more successful in removing that top layer of black if I had put a coat of Sesh Feet over the top of the pink stamping and then I could have just done the black again, but no, I didn't do that. I had to do the pink again and then the black again as well, so. <sighs> okay, so now I forgot to mention, yes, I did have to do the white again, then I had to do the sesh feet again, then I had to do the pink stamping again, and now I'm trying to do, see, there you go, stuffed it again, but not as bad as the first time. So it's a kind of a little, teensy wincy little win because there's no way in the world I'm doing it again. Teensy bit of clean up, you know, not much. Then I put sesh feet over the top and then I left it. I didn't take any photos. Like I did it at night time. I normally paint all of my nails at night time and then the next day I did this because I couldn't stand that white sort of border around the outside. So what I did was get uh, my black acrylic craft paint and my fine detail brush and did a border around all of those nails. Now this took me so long. But the longest bit was during my index nail, which tends to shake if I concentrate on it too hard or if I'm trying to um, do lines that are really that have to be really, really neat. For some reason, uh, my index nail will shake like like I've got the DTs or something. It's just terrible. But <sighs> take a deep breath. Uh, I think it's probably because I, I press my nail on on the desk too hard because I'm concentrating so hard, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's terrible. Anyway, worked out okay in the end, despite, you know, that stuff. Once all of that was dry, I went ahead and top coated. Very, very glad to see the back of this many. <laughs> Although I didn't take it off for another sort of 12 hours or so, you know, I felt as though I needed to wear it for a little bit longer than I would normally, <laughs> just because of all the work that went into it. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I did like it at the end, but it was so frustrating and you can probably understand why I didn't do any stamping on my middle nail. I just thought three was enough and I just, you know, there's too much pressure. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. I would thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.